You may remember him as he tried to become the governor of Florida. Now, ex-Florida governor candidate Andrew Gillum was caught in a Miami Beach hotel room where drugs were found. And let me just let me just let you I'll just tell you, this headline is a little bit light. There was a gay male escort and methamphetamines found along with this guy who is a Democratic gubernatorial uh, gubernatorial or whatever you say, whatever the word is, he's running for governor. Now, you know what, man? I, I don't know if this is a Democrat thing or whatever, but maybe it's a Florida man thing. You know the story about Florida man? Basically, because of Florida sunshine laws, we get access to all these criminal records. We can see just how crazy people really are. And now we can see these guys are really crazy. Let's read this story. And then I actually have an ex- uh, the Daily Mail figured out who this guy was. Let's, let's read so I can give the context. A Miami Beach police report about an apparent drug overdose in a Miami Beach hotel room overnight Thursday says that one of the three men present in the room was former Florida gubernatorial candidate Andrew Gillum, along with three small plastic bags containing suspected crystal meth. The incident could mark a sudden end to Gillum's political star, which shone brightly for many Democrats even after he lost the 2018 election for governor. Shortly after reporters began making inquiries on Friday, Gillum confirmed his presence in the hotel room in a written statement and announced he was going into seclusion. He said he would appreciate privacy during this time and said he would spend the next few weeks with his family. Here is Gillum's explanation. I was in Miami last night for a wedding celebration when first responders were called to assist one of my friends. While I had too much to drink, I want to be clear that I have never used methamphetamines. I apologize to the people of Florida for the distraction this has caused our movement, a movement which Gillum is probably not going to be a part of for in the near future. The police report says that officers responded to a room at 1100 West Ave, which is the address of the Mondrian South Beach police uh, address of the Mondrian South Beach. Police found uh, found fire rescue staff treating a man for a possible drug overdose. Police found two other men in the room, including Gillum, described as an involved other. One of the men told police that when he arrived at the hotel party after 11 p.m. Thursday, Gillum and the person having the medical issue were inside the room under the influence of an unknown substance. One of the men said Gillum and the person were both under the influence. The police report said that on arriving, an officer observed Mr. Gillum inside the bathroom vomiting. Officers then attempted to speak to Mr. Gillum. Mr. Gillum was unable to communicate with officers due to his inebriated inebriated state. The report also said that fire rescue responded a second time to the hotel for a welfare check on Gillum and determined he was in stable condition and his vital signs were normal. Gillum won a stunning primary victory in 2018. He was the lone leftist progressive in his party's nomination, winning with 34% of the vote. Three other moderate centrists split 62% of the vote. Gillum went on to lose the November election to Republican Ron DeSantis. Since the loss, he's maintained his political activities in Florida, largely through an effort to engage voters and increased voter registration. He had widely been expected to run for office again. He's also working as as an on-camera CNN political commentator. Gillum said he was thankful to Miami Beach's emergency medical responders for the way they handled the situation. I will spend the next few weeks with my family and appreciate privacy during this time. Now, you may be wondering, who is this man? who is overdosing, presumably on meth, along with his Democratic governor candidate buddy, who is vomiting in the bathroom. Well, it turns out that we actually we actually have photos of this guy. Daily Mail says exclusive. This is the gay escort found overdosed on meth in a South floor in a South Beach hotel room with top Florida Democrat Andrew Gillum, a married father of three who says he was just drunk at a wedding. This is the hunky gay escort found naked and overdosing on crystal meth in a hotel room with a leading Democrat, DailyMail.com can reveal. They go on to explain the story we just read. Cops found three plastic bags of suspected crystal meth, and the third man present, Aldo Mejias, told officers that Gilliman Dyson had been under the influence of an unknown substance, according to a police report obtained by the Daily Mail. So here's a photo of the guy. Paramedics were called to the room after Dyson, a male escort, overdosed on crystal meth. The report also noted that 40-year-old Gillum, a former Tallahassee mayor and regular CNN contributor, was seen vomiting in the bathroom and required a welfare check. 
Police are not pressing charges over the incident, and Gillum denies taking drugs. However, he later issued a groveling apology on, over his behavior. So, I, so we read that apology already. He said, uh, yeah, he said he apologizes. Miami Beach, Miami Beach resident Dyson describes himself as a trauma-certified ER nurse on social media, where he posts photos of himself working out in the gym, partying at gay night spots, and lounging on luxury yachts. But DailyMail.com can reveal he also posts explicit photos and homemade porn movies online and has previously had a profile on the Rent.Men website, which advertises male escorts and sex workers. Let me, let me slow down for a second. Assuming this is all true, a top Democrat in Florida, a progressive far leftist, was found in a hotel room under the influence, vomiting in a bathroom with a gay male escort who was overdosing on meth. That's the story. <laughs> You know what? I thought this coronavirus stuff was crazy, but I tell you what, there's always something to show us that this, this stim the simulation is, is on is on the fritz. OK, did you guys see the thing where Sarah Palin was rapping a certain mix a lot? I thought the simulation was about to crash when that was happening. Now this. Yikes. I'm joking, by the way, about the simulation stuff. But the general idea is that we we must not be in, in, in a real world. Right. How can this be a reality? And I'll tell you what, man, I know people, people you take issue with the clown world being the far left claims it's alt right or whatever. Dude, listen, the, the joke is that this world is so crazy. Certainly the plot of it must have been written by clowns. Let me make this clear for you. A far left Democratic candidate who nearly became governor was just found vomiting and under the influence of an unknown substance in a hotel bathroom while a gay male escort was overdosing on meth. The aristocrats. Am I right? It's not clear how he is connected to Gillum, who narrowly missed out on becoming Florida governor in 2018. Gillum met his wife, R. Jai Howard, while they were studying at Florida A&M, and together they have three young children. When contacted by the Miami New Times, Dyson said he had known Gillum for a while, but didn't know anything about a wedding. All right. According to Miami Beach Police Department, officers were called out at 12.55 a.m. after reports of a guest suffering a cardiac arrest at the four-star Mondrian Hotel, where the room costs upward of $220 per night. They arrived to find paramedics performing first aid on Dyson in the wake of a suspected drug overdose and preparing to take him to the hospital. Mejias described the report as the complainant, described in the report as the complainant, wow, told officers he had given his credit card details to Dyson on Thursday afternoon to rent a hotel room. Mr. Mejias arrived at the hotel approximately 2307 hours, where he discovered Travis Dyson and Andrew Gillum inside the room under the influence of an unknown substance. Per Mr. Mejias, Mr. Dyson opened the hotel room door and immediately walked over to the bed and collapsed in a prone position. Mr. Mejias observed Mr. Gillum inside the bathroom vomiting. Mr. Mejias stated that he observed Mr. Dyson having difficulty breathing, prompting him to wake him up. Mr. Dyson then began vomiting on the bed and immediately collapsed again. Mr. Mejias began conducting chest compressions on Mr. Dyson and proceeded to contact police and fire rescue. Officer, officers then attempted to speak to Mr. Gillum. Mr. Gillum was unable to communicate with the officers due to his inebriated state. Look at these photos. The reports as officers performed several welfare checks. Yeah, 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 we get that part. Inside of the hotel room, officers observed in plain sight three small clear plastic baggies containing suspected crystal meth on both the bed and floor of the hotel room. Mr. Gillum left the hotel room and returned to his residence without incident. No arrests were made and police do not plan on bringing charges. At this time, the incident is not being investigated, investigated as a criminal matter, said a spokesman for the Miami Beach Police Department. You mean to tell me cops found what they believe to be crystal meth and Andrew Gillum just gets to walk away from this? Dude, you know, there are people in New York, stop and frisk, get thrown up against the wall, frisked. They don't find anything. So they write them up a jaywalking ticket. There's one video going viral where a kid got arrested for resisting arrest. That's it. And the kid wasn't even resisting arrest. This stuff happens all the time. You know what I see here? First of all, I call this Democrat privilege. High profile Democrat busted with, with what the cops thought was drugs and a gay male escort overdosing, presumably. Presumably, I must say, I don't get sued. And he walks away. No questions asked. Come on, man. You know what? We've seen tons of stories where it looks like many Democrats have engaged in bad behavior and then nothing ever comes of it. That's Democrat privilege. This guy, is he going to get arrested? No, they're not. They're not investigating. That's it. That's the story. 
the, how, do, how, do, how do you, how, you know what, man? I have heard stories of people getting arrested for soap. Google search it. A guy gets pulled up. Uh, a guy gets pulled over. The cops find a baggie of, of white and blue powder, arrest the guy thinking it was a drug and it was laundry detergent. Yet this is a guy, a dude literally on the floor with paramedics around him. And the cops are like, no, nah, you're good. <laughs> All right. You're good, buddy. We get it. You know what, man? I can't say life is boring. I certainly can't. But of course, you know, we'll, we'll see if this guy actually faces political ramifications because of it, because I'm willing to bet. No, nothing's going to happen. Whatever. I'll see you all in the next segment in a few minutes.